I always get nervous when I see people with a whole lot of papers in front of them, <laughs> especially people who have been in an ongoing custody problem for two years. So I'm going to simplify this for you because sometimes in this job I have to handle cases that I know absolutely nothing about historically. I know everything about this case, despite the fact I've never seen you. The two of you were together, you had a child, and you separated in 2015. And since that time, there has been an ongoing acrimonious relationship which culminated just recently in a custody decision. So far, am I correct? Yes, yes. ma'am. There you go. And the custody decision was something that you didn't like because it awarded Mr. Kittle, according to what I read, 50-50 custody. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. And this is something that you did not initially agree to. It's okay with me that the decision was That's made. That's not what I said. I said you did not initially agree with it. Um, the answer is, if you initially agreed with it, it wouldn't have been in court for how long? It's a year and a half, so almost a year. A year and a half, because if you would have agreed with is it a boy or a girl? A boy. If you agreed with your son spending half the time with each parent, you wouldn't have been in court for a year and a half. Is that a fair statement? Yes. Okay. So now, this is what your lawsuit is for. First of all, how old was your son when you separated? Two. Two. And I'm not going to ask Ms. Kraft this question because she didn't give me a truthful answer when she swore to her complaint. How long were the two of you living together prior to separating? Three and a half years. That is unfair, Judge. What? That is untrue. Yeah, I read, I read what you wrote here. Mr. Kittle, yes, when your son was born, was Miss Kraft living with you? Yes, she was. Was his birth a natural birth? Yes. Who took her to the hospital? I did. Not her mother. No, not her mother. You did. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know she said that. Just a second. I'm sorry. Just a second. Okay. You did. Yes. I never said my mother took me. We were on our way to a barbecue at his father's house that day. Listen to me. I don't believe a word of what's in your papers. Do you understand? You said, I never lived with him. I always lived with my mother, but all my things and my son's things were at his house just because. Not let me see all if I, my things. Let me see. Some uh, of my things. Uh, just a second. What you said was, Christopher and I dated for four years, have a three-year-old son, we never lived together, but I was keeping my and my son's stuff there, furniture, TV, toys, etc., we at his house because I was in. living with my mother. Because we were planning on moving in together and getting okay. married and yeah. having a family. I don't family. believe what you're saying. Anyway, two years later, you want the, all this stuff back. I wanted when, it back I'm not from asking you a question. I told you I don't believe you. You just have to understand. I read it. I didn't believe it when I read it. And I for sure don't believe it now. Because there's no question. Son was born. He drove you to the hospital. Who took her home from the hospital? I did. Of course. I have a and when you, uh, Sorry. I'll get to you. I mean, if you want to make a fool of yourself, you can do that. I'll be more than happy to let you do that. When you took her home from the hospital with your son, was there a room ready for your son? Yes. Was there a crib there? Yes. Who bought it? Her aunt bought the crib. Her aunt bought the crib. Right. And had it delivered where? To my house. Her that aunt who? Her aunt who? I don't remember her name. Her dad's sister. I don't remember her name. Laura, I think it is. It was delivered to my house. It has the address and I have a receipt with my address on it at my mother's house. I don't care. I don't believe you. Neither did the family court judge. That's why he was awarded 50-50 custody. I have a message from Christopher claiming that I never lived at his house. I don't care. Yeah. Ridiculous. Now, if that's your case, was there a trial with regard to custody? Yes, ma'am, there was. Did each of you have an attorney? Yes, ma'am, we did. You have an attorney? Yes. How many witnesses did you call? You called yourself? Yes. Who else? My mother. Who else? I think that was it. They also called police officers. They called the police officers from an incident allegedly two years ago. Yes. And after the entire case, what happened to the temporary restraining order that you filed against him? It got dismissed. Dismissed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how many allegations did you file against him with the Department of Children and Family Services? Two. And what happened with those cases? Uh, I'm not sure. I think nothing. they were... Yeah, nothing. Nothing. 